Hello everyone! Well, next weekend at London Film and Comic Con, there will be a series of Doctor Who panels, including one on the animations. And the BBC have announced that a new animation is going to be teased there with a new clip. And I was just wondering, what could that new animation be? So that's what this video is all about. For those of you who don't know, there are almost a hundred missing episodes of Doctor Who currently. We still have the soundtracks, but we don't have the vision to go with them. Today we've had seven Doctor Who stories with missing episodes completed with animation and one more on the way. So what could possibly be next? These are informed guesses. I have no professional connection to the animation team whatsoever. This is just a bit of fun. <laughs> I think we all know what the next story is most likely to be. But I'm going to arrange the stories in tiers and see how we go from there. So starting with tier D, who I'm representing with Catherine de' Medici. And pretty much, I'm just putting all the historicals under this category. Earlier this year, at a BFI screening for the Macra Terra, producer Charles Norton explained that the Macra Terra and the Highlanders were both under consideration for the most recent animation slot. And part of the reason the Macra Terra was chosen was due to the complexity of design work in historical stories, mainly costumes and, of course, set designs compared to science fiction stories. Also, historicals tend to have a larger cast, which requires more character modelling. So, the stories I put in this tier are Marco Polo, The Crusade, The Mythmakers, The Massacre, The Smugglers, and The Highlanders. Now, if I were to consider which of those I think is most likely to be animated, we already know that The Highlanders was under consideration, and also, I think Marco Polo as an outlier we know from the Faceless Ones animation that's coming up that the team aren't just choosing four-part stories, so Marco Polo is a possibility. On the other hand, Marco Polo is the missing story most likely to turn up simply because of all the missing episodes. Marco Polo's episodes were the ones sold to the most amount of countries, and Ergo probably had more copies made. I would love to see a historical animated for the range, especially a William Hartnell story. But based on the information we have, it's probably not likely at this stage. Next up we have Tier C, who I am representing with Marvik Chen. Okay, hear me out. This tier I have populated with the Celestial Toymaker, the Underwater Menace, and the Daleks Master Plan. Now, I know what you may be thinking. The Daleks Master Plan is a ridiculously popular story. It's a really good story. But the problem is it faces the same dilemma as historicals. It has a large cast of characters. It has multiple locations and time periods. So there's a lot of design work involved as well. And it is 12 episodes long. And we can see from the faceless ones that the BBC animations want to be able to provide full stories in animation to streaming services, to have an uninterrupted flow of aesthetic and story. So 12 episodes of the Daleks Master Plan would have to be animated. There's also Mission to the Unknown. We've had the great remake recently from U-Clan, and so I am going to put it out there and say I don't think Mission to the Unknown will ever be officially animated. There is the unofficial Levine animation, but I don't think the BBC will animate it. I think they will include the U-Clan version on any future DVD or Blu-ray release, alongside a reconstruction with the original audio. Now, of course, the Daleks Master Plan does have Daleks, which could help give it extra budget to get these 12 episodes out, but I think other stories may be made first in order to cushion the blow of having to animate these 12 episodes. As for the Celestial Toymaker and the Underwater Menace, I kind of put those together. They are two stories which would benefit greatly from reimagining and giving us some more impressive visuals based on the existing episodes of those stories. But at the same time, they're not wildly popular stories. Celestial Toymaker would give us an additional story for Season 3, which is way underrepresented in the archives, and The Underwater Menace would help extend that run of new stories we've got going backwards from the moon base. We would then have The Underwater Menace, The Moon Base, The Macra Terra, The Faceless Ones, and just The Highlanders, a gap to bridge between Power of the Daleks and that run. I just don't think it's very likely at this point. Next up, Tier 2, represented by the Cyber Planner. 
Now obviously with the cyber planner here, I'm thinking the wheel in space. We have had a condensed version of episode 1, which came out on the Macro Terra DVD, and that looks absolutely great. It could lay down the groundwork for a full version of the story. Much like the Faceless ones, there are two episodes existing, so there's a similar budgetary case to be made to animate the whole thing. It's another story that suffers from a bit of bad direction, maybe? <laughs> Not great design work, so that could be a really wonderful thing to see in animation. The guest cast represents a similar size to Macro Terra, a few, a few more people, but there's also a clear design aesthetic between the different characters, meaning we can reuse costume assets. It has the added bonus of completing the 1960s Cybermen stories, and as you know, they're my favourite monster. It's not a fan favourite though, which may push it down the list in terms of representation. Speaking of not fan favourites, the next story I put in this tier is The Space Pirates. It's almost completely missing. It is ripe for reimagining because aside from the existing second episode, there is very little visual material. There's no telly snaps and very few photographs. Some characters in the story were literally never photographed. We don't know what they looked like on screen. And that could be a really good choice for animation. There's lots of space action in there, which is great as well. Plot-wise, it's not very good, but it could lead to a re-evaluation of the story. So that could be a nice choice as well. Jumping back a few years, we have the season three premiere, Galaxy 4. Now, that is a story that only has one episode existing in the archives, recovered a few years ago, so it could be another good target for a complete four-episode animation. It fills out season three, which, as I mentioned earlier, is something that would be really nice. It's not a huge fan favourite, but it has a simple story, it gives us our first Hartnell animation from the current animation team. We have had two animations for Hartnell before from Planet 55. It also gives us a couple of character models for the Daleks Master Plan, namely the Doctor and Steven. Now, when I said earlier I don't think Daleks Master Plan is likely at the moment, I do think it's coming. It's got Daleks in. As long as the animations have become viable, we will get there, but it could be a good idea to produce some stories earlier on to give us assets to use in the Daleks Master Plan. Finally in this category, the Abominable Snowmen. Now I know what you're thinking, it is technically a historical. It's set a few decades before the 60s in which it was made. However, it doesn't have the same problem as most of the other historicals. Most of the characters in this story are wearing the same costume, much like in the Macra Terra or the Power of the Daleks, so there isn't as much character design work involved. Also, the settings are much simpler than something like Marco Polo or the Highlanders, and it's set much closer to our own era. The big question then becomes, do we also animate Web of Fear Episode 3, considering that we're pretty sure the print is out there somewhere? For those of you who don't know, when the Web of Fear was rediscovered before, it could make its way into the hands of the BBC. Episode 3 was pretty much sold on to a private collector, and we don't know whether the BBC has recovered it or not, because uh, Philip Morris, one of the main episode hunters these days, has said that due to this, he's not going to announce each and every find. He's going to wait until he's exhausted all his possible leads and then announce them to prevent episodes being held hostage like this again. And frankly, I think that's a really good idea, even if it's frustrating because we, we don't know whether stuff exists or not. But hopefully the animation team does. Before we get to tier one, I've just got some rampant speculation. We know that the BBC are announcing a new animation, but does it necessarily have to be a missing story? Now, frankly, I don't think anything I'm about to say is very likely. The BBC are trying to build this brand of restoring missing Doctor Who stories with animation. Why would they suddenly pivot to something else? But I'm not ruling out the possibility. My three ideas if it's not a missing story animation are an animated big finish story, a full motion adaptation of Death Comes to Time, the first Doctor Who webcast, or a whole new animated special featuring the 13th Doctor. As I say, I don't think any of those things are likely. 
I would certainly welcome them, but at the same time, I would understand people just wanting the BBC to get on with animating the missing stories. You know, plug the gaps before creating something new. Finally, moving on to tier one, these are the three stories that I think are most likely to be animated, and I'm representing them with the Emperor Dalek. So yeah, obviously, Evil of the Daleks. It is regarded as a classic, I think it's pretty average, but I understand it has this mythic status. It's also incredibly logical considering that we've had the Macra Terra, we're getting the faceless ones, what's the next story? Evil of the Daleks. It has six episodes missing out of seven, so again we pretty much have our target of a story we can animate in its entirety. It's got Daleks in, so that's something that people always want to see. We've got character models for the Doctor and Jamie already, and character models for the Daleks, if they reuse the Daleks from Power of the Daleks. It bookends that season nicely, and it also means that for season four, we then only need the Smugglers, the Highlanders, and the Underwater Menace. And the Underwater Menace does have an existing reconstruction, even if it's not very good. Look, I don't think it's any surprise, I think lots of people are saying the evil of the Daleks, but there are two other stories which I think are equally prime for animation. Jumping back about a year from Evil of the Daleks, we get The Savages. It's a four-part William Hartnell story, it's entirely missing. It's a really good script by Ian Stewart Black, who also wrote The Macra Terra. So there's your publicity from the writer of The Macra Terra. It gives us a Hartnell story, it fills out season three, it's Stephen's departure, so it plugs that gap in the continuity there. Also, I think it's a story that a lot of fans don't know much about. Because, to be honest, when I first watched The Reconstruction, I didn't know what the story was about, and you know, I've been a fan for 30 years. <laughs> so I think that would be a really excellent choice, and possibly a great choice for our first animated Hartnell story, because it is so little known. It's not Marco Polo where there's a huge weight of expectation, it's something that can be done for relatively low risk in terms of publicity, but then also give us character models for the first Doctor and Steven to use later on in the Daleks Master Plan. Finally, I think equally likely as the Savages, is Fury from the Deep. It's another completely missing story, bar a few clips. It is, again, widely regarded as a classic. There is some great suspenseful scenes in it. I could even call it a horror story. It is a deeply, deeply atmospheric story, and that could be really enhanced by animation in the same way the Macra attacks were in the Macra Terror. It gives us a character model of Victoria, which, if Evil of the Daleks hasn't been made already by the time this is, we then go back and use on Evil of the Daleks and the Abominable Snowmen. So there you have it, a rough rundown of what I think the next Doctor Who animation could be. What do you think? Let's all make some predictions and see next Sunday how right or how wrong we all are. <laughs> Look, I think it's going to be the evil of the Daleks, but I just got to thinking about what other stories it could be, and I kind of surprised myself putting Savages so high to the top and the Daleks' master plan so low to the bottom, but it's just a matter of feasibility. I think whatever we get, the animation team are doing an amazing job, I was disappointed, like many of you, with that scene that wasn't animated for the Macro Terror, but at least it was included on the DVD and Blu-ray in the reconstruction. And also there was, a, there was an explanation given to us where, well, if it's a choice between having a scene cut and having a story not animated, I'm going to choose, unfortunately, to have that scene cut. That being said, though, when Galaxy 4 gets around to being animated, I do not want that line about Vicky throwing a rock cut, because that's my favourite bit, and it was cut out of the condensed reconstruction, and I was annoyed. It's my favourite line! That's the end of this video. Come back tomorrow for a rapid randomizer review, and on Monday I'll be reviewing Rosa on the one-year anniversary of its first broadcast. Then, over the coming week, of course, some more Say Something Nice. Until then, thank you very much for watching.